Hi, well, hello, it's uh, Tris again from East Kim Mancap, and today we're going to be doing a video where we paint this little chap. His name's Waffle, he's two years old, and he belongs to my mate Harry. And um, I'm going to show you how I paint him, and then what I thought would be really cool, if you guys are up for it, is if once you've watched how I do it, if you could either paint or draw him yourselves, that would be fantastic. I'm going to attach the photograph to this video. You post your pictures in the comment section, either on Facebook or on YouTube. Hope you enjoy this. Right, so I've got my canvas board and I've drawn the outline of Waffle ready to paint. I didn't video myself drawing the outline because I thought it would bore the living hell out of you guys. But I've drawn the outline and roughly where his main features should be. Um, if you look at his body, it's kind of like a fat banana or better still kind of like a fat sausage maybe that's a better description it's like a fat sausage and his head his head sort of triangular shape but with rounded edges as you can see I've put roughly where his eye should be where his nose and his mouth should be as well and obviously I put on his legs so the first thing we've got to do is do a background so i've got an old metal tray which i sort of found and i'm going to mix up my paints and to apply the paint to do the background i'm going to use a washing up sponge because it's a really simple quick method to apply a lot of color in a big space really quickly Okay, so I'm starting to apply the paint onto the background. Uh, don't have to be too neat about this because we're going to be painting over the, where the dog is in a minute. So we just dab the paint on, be as messy as you like. Um, speaking of messy, it is quite a messy process using a sponge. As you can see, it's dribbling already. Um, so for God's sake, don't wear your smart clothes. Wear some old rags. Uh, you don't want to mess up your best threads with um, paint. Although the paint I'm using is um, water-based, it's acrylic paint. So I'm just going to slap the paint on, just as messy as you like. Um, it's looking very yellow at the moment, but what you'll find in a minute is I start layering the colour on. Um, start adding different shades of green. dabbing it on at the moment it's very hard keeping the canvas board steady as well because it's very flimsy so now we're putting in a lighter green I think it's called khaki green don't quote me on that though I could be wrong in the photograph he's in the park somewhere but um not worried too much about the detail of a background it just needs some sort of background to make him stand out it's also really important to paint the background first that way your subject matter which in our case is the dog he needs to he needs to be the focal point he needs to stand out more than the background
reaching the point where we need to let that dry before the next phase. Right, so now we've finished the background, I'm going to start working on Waffle himself. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to shed in his eyes, his nose and his mouth. So I'll just mix the paints. And uh, start with the eyes. Can't really see his eyes in the photograph as such because it's sort of quite shaded. He's got a lot of fur, as you can see, over his face. So we're going to fill them in black. Like so. And then we're going to draw in his mouth. And then we're going to do his nose. So start with his nostrils. Noses and dogs are quite tricky because obviously the nostrils will be quite dark, but their nose is also quite black as well. So we're going to fill in the nose. And now we're going to use a stipple effect using a tiny bit of white paint and just dabble tiny white dots all over the nose which hopefully will create the illusion that his nose is wet so we're going to start doing the shading on his ears some of the dark highlight low lights low lights not, not highlights and also notice he's got a collar which you can just about see and that's black as well so we're going to fill that in before we start on his main fur. It's just, it's just plain black. Just add a bit of shade in the other area as well before layering in the lighter colours. So now we're going to start on Waffle's fur. So I'm going to start with his eyebrows. Just use really rough brush strokes. Um, almost like scribbling with a paintbrush. Scribbling and scratching, creating different textures of his fur. He's got quite long fur, quite fluffy in places. And just layer on the colours, even though he looks like a grey dog. You can actually see shades of purple and blue in his fur. And that's how the rock and that's caused by the different reflections of the light on his fur. So at the moment I'm working on his nose and his forehead and his ears. Just layering on the colours, different shades, different greys and different blues. Don't be too worried about being exact, just as long as you capture his character, and that's what's important. I think this painting is probably going to end up looking a bit of a caricature of a dog, but as long as we capture his essence, that's sort of, you know, that's half the battle. see him layering on different purples, different greys, with some low lights and some highlights. Now working around his mouth, which is kind of like a big fluffy beard I guess. The fur is a bit more dark around the bottom of part of the face. Just use really broad brush strokes and don't be afraid to be messy.
Now we've finished his head, we're going to start working on his body. A small tip is to use a different brush. Uh, I'd use a larger brush, in fact, for his body. That's what I'm going to do now. Uh, and then apply the paint. Again, in a sort of scratching kind of technique. Scratchy kind of scribbling manner. And I'm just putting on white and putting little different shades of grey just to show the ruffles in his fur. <laughs> now I'm going to apply some more colour where it's darker of his fur. You can also see where um, we spilt yellow paint on his body earlier. That's actually disappearing now. We're layering the more colour on his body. Make that leg a bit darker because it's in the shade. And then just drag your brush along in a stippling type fashion just to create the ruffles in his fur where he's being shaved but his hair's growing back. Putting some highlights on the leg which is closest to us. And then making the inside leg much darker because that's in the shade. Right for his tail, his tail is quite stringy. So I, I do long curly brush strokes to create that illusion. His, his tail is almost like string, like a mop. And again, just layer lots of different shades just to give it depth. Make sure they're light. You do dark lines and light lines. of low lights and highlights until you're satisfied with the end result.
Well, guys, this is the finished piece. Here he is, Mr. Waffle. Uh, I'm going to wait to see what his owner thinks of him. And so now it's over to you guys. I'd love to see your interpretation of him. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Learned something new. Look forward to seeing your creations. Please stay home. You stay safe. Keep washing those hands. I definitely need to wash mine, so I'm off to do that now. See you soon. Take care. Stay home. Stay safe. Remember to wash your hands.